Hi, afternoon, stoke evening uh, from Dublin, Ireland, uh, Data Analytics Ireland. Uh, welcome back, or if it's your first time, welcome. Great to have you. Today, going to look at putting in a bit of an audit trail and save it to a log file um, on any data that we're working on in the data frame. So, start off uh, very quickly, going to go through with you the start data set. I'll get into the code now in a second. And this is the data set we're going to work on, and we're going to change some of it and add to it and delete some of it. So that's that there. Okay. Next thing is it's going to save to a file called log. Um, that's saved save in the same directory, but you can name it any directory. So at the moment, log is empty. So what will happen is I'm going to just going to save this, close it. And when we run the code here now, it will basically run through the code, save the output of the changes we made, and basically we'll open the, reopen the, the text file at the end and show you the changes. So, to start off, when you run this code, here is the, the, the data I showed you in the Excel file. So it's all come in there, name and ID, and it's all the index numbers here, zero to seven. Okay, I'll come back to Keen and seven in a second. And here is a reformatted data frame, and there's been a number of changes that have happened in the data frame, uh, which I'll take you through now in a second. But this is basically the output, and the changes that have been made in here um, will be reflected in the text file. So what I want to do is essentially I've described some of these already in some previous videos, but we're just going to open the file and assign it to the variable my data, okay? And then what we're going to do is basically create another variable and say that the in the data in that variable is equal to the variable my data data that was created here okay so this is the sheet my data that was contained within this file here all right and then the final the next thing we're going to do is we need to create a data frame so this line here is again going to create the data frame and it's basically going to say a df is going to equal the pd data frame input data here and whatever the values that were fed into that okay so next steps and this is where we get into the bones of this uh, video is we're going to create a um, file we're going to open a sorry open the file called log.txt that's the one I show you that was empty at the moment um, so that's basically the open statement there the next thing we're going to do line is we're basically going to bring it back up to the top of the line okay so if there's anything in the, the file, what it will do is we will, it will bring it to the top of the line and put the cursor in the top left-hand corner at the first point. And then this line here basically just removes everything from the file, empties it out essentially. Okay, so moving on, what we want to do is you now have your file open, already to process some data, and then some of that, the output of some of that processing and that data will feed into this log txt file here so we want to basically fix the headers on the data frame so when we create the data frames they're not set as name and id okay so the reason how we do that is we take the data headers uh a variable called data headers and we basically say it's equal to the in input data and the values in that okay and then basically within that um we're basically going to say another variable, which is going to say, go to the very first line in that data headers file, or a variable, should I say, and basically give us all, give us the, the values in that, and they are name and ID. And then what we're going to do is we're going to tell the data frame again, then basically, hey, you've got, um, we want to repopulate the data frame with the data headers values, but also we want to put the headers as what was passed into here. So name and ID would have been passed in here and that's what's been assigned here. And then we're going to display the DF. So essentially we're at this point here, okay? So moving on. So we want to process the file now. Um, so the first thing we want to do actually is just basically call current date. We're going to create a thing called current date. We have a variable called current date. And all that is doing is just capturing the current date time and now and this basically functions through 
this line here. So you need to have that statement in there at the top or within the code to make sure that we're able to capture the date and time. Okay. And then next thing we're going to do is we're going to, first of all, the first thing we're going to change is Joe to Joseph. So Joseph is the Irish for Joe, for all those of you who don't know what it is. So up here we have a value called Joe at index row value zero. And we're going to change that to show. So that's actually what's happened here. What this line here, these lines here um, are basically doing this. So the first bit we're actually doing is capturing the old name. So we're just capturing that value there. And then what we're basically saying is we're going to create um, the new data frame down here is going to have the, the, the value of, it's going to look for the value of Joe in name here and it's going to put it equal to Joseph. Okay, so that's what that's line doing. So the reason they're in variables is this next line is probably the crux of this video. And what this is basically doing is in the file name, which is the file name again, just to remind you, is this file up here we've opened up. So here, okay. What we're basically doing down here is we put in some text changes made out and basically string, you need to convert it to a string, the, the values of the dates, the string for it to be put into the file. Um, otherwise we'll throw up an error. Okay, so it's basically saying changes made at string current date, which is what we captured here. Okay, plus the old name, which is just text, plus the actual variable all name here, which would be Joe. Okay, and then it's changed to the new name here, which is Joseph. Okay, so that's that bit first. Um, okay, so that's just basically right to the file. So the next line is um, what we're going to do is multiply ID number four here. Um, ID number four, sorry, yeah, it's index row four. So it's three here, okay? So three is going to change to eight, okay? So it's line four, not index four. Sorry, my apologies. It's index three. There we go, perfect. Get myself mixed up. It's index three. Um, which is the old ID. So we're following the same patterns we did here. We're getting the old value first and then we're calculating the new value. So we're basically saying the old value is three, which is four. And then we say the new ID value is going to be four by two, which gives us eight. Okay. Um, and then what we're basically saying is write the ID value, the, the data frame with index row value, ID value three. So it's basically ID here, value of three. We're basically given that the value of eight. Okay, so that's what that line is doing there. Again, we're rewriting the values to the log file. So we're capturing uh, this is the text current date, which is like the very first uh, line, the first bit of code we out there. It's current date, very straightforward. And then we're basically saying the old ID value is again is this. The new ID value is a string. Both our strings is this. Um, so the final bit of logic it's doing is um, we want to delete a a value from here. So at the moment, before any of this goes through, index row row value index value six row value six. Uh, is is a name of Keen and a value is seven, okay. And basically, what we're trying to do is say, go to df name and row value six, and go to delete row value or df id of value six as well, okay. Um, so that's what we're basically doing. Um, they that's what we want to drop. So they're just the variable names, okay. So again we just that's so when you see keen and seven here that's these values here okay so they're just basically assigning those row those column row values to basically those two variables this is literally where it's been dropped so we're basically going to drop um the df the data frame of index value six which is this here and we're basically saying drop Drop that value and in place equals true was basically means is when this this data frame is reprinted out, it's updated and it excludes the index value of six. Index row value of six here. Okay. 
All right. And again, um, what we're doing is we're doing exactly the same like we did with the other two. We just changed the text obviously a bit, but we have delete column value name and value ID here, and we take the current date again. Again, so there's your display FF, DF should I say, is basically just the new constituted data frame with the updates in and with obviously name change, value change, and then as row six here is gone from the data frame. Um, so the last line, the last couple of lines here is file name right. Um, basically writes it to the file, all the information up all above here, it's captured, and then it closes it. Important to make sure you close so it doesn't take up any resources. So if I run this now, very quickly, okay, so that hasn't, none of this has changed, but let's just go back to the, give me two seconds, log, so So here you go. Here is the output. So as you can see, if we just go over here. So the first thing we made is this the date and time. We did Joe here, the Shosov. Second time is the date and time, obviously, old value. We multiply this vor, four here, and by two gives us eight. And then we deleted Keen with ID value seven. Um, and that's basically gone from here, okay? So essentially, oh yeah, sorry, the file close here as well, the time always close. So essentially that's in a nutshell how you would run, run in some data, make the changes, log the changes as you go along, obviously save out the data again to a new data frame and then save all the changes you made to a file. You obviously could do this, um, save it to a network drive in future um, releases of this video's output, I'm going to actually save it to a server. So I'll show you how to do it on a server. But for the moment, that's a very brief introduction of how you do it. Um, save all your changes to a file. Okay, so I hope you've enjoyed that. The um, latest in the series from Data Analytics Ireland, please give us a like, thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, we'd really appreciate it. Share the video as well, so if this, you feel it should be useful to other people, um, most appreciative if people could do that, and we'll see you soon. Take care, bye.